everyone. So today at Top Jeu, I'm going to talk to you about Bananas. It's a Jekyll card game for two to five players for six years and older. It's a strategy game where you have to get as much banana as possible. So I'm going to show you how it plays and tell you what I think right after. So banana comes with cards that has one banana, two bananas, or three bananas, and comes with monkeys. And what we have to notice on the monkey cards is they have a different position. So one with one arm on top, one scratching his ears, and one with the two arm on top of his head. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix all the cards and we're gonna distribute three for each players. We're gonna put the deck on the side and the goal of the game is to get as much banana as possible. To do that, we need to place uh, the cards on the table. We can put one, two, or three cards at the same time. The idea is to create a cross type of board game. So let's say I start, I'm gonna put, let's say my monkey here and a banana here. And if I use two cards, I'm gonna pick up two new cards in my deck. So it's the other player's turn. So she has a choice now to put a card here on the left or on the right to create the cross. It's my turn and to get those banana here, I need to make a straight line of monkeys with different position. Now it's my turn. I'm going to play a banana here and let's say a monkey here and I pick up two cards. So at this point, when the board is done, we can add more cards on top of the others. Now my opponent has managed to make a, a line with monkeys of different position and because she made that she can pick them up and she keep at the same time the bananas that were under the deck. She pick up two new cards. Okay. So for me in order to pick up that card I will need to have three monkeys of different position. I'm lucky I have cards that I can use here so I will put my monkey here and I will put that one here so scratching the ears the two hand and the one hand and I can pick up all the cards so note that this can be done vertically or horizontally so that's it she has different monkeys she can pick up the cards and the banana at the same time she pick up two new cards so always have three cards in her deck and me, I continue to play. Here you go. She can pick up the line and gaining more bananas. So she decided to put our three cards, which are banana cards, on the side here, which she can do. She doesn't necessarily have to put it in the middle. And again, she picked the horizontal line. She has three monkeys of the different position. My turn. So the game finishes when we don't have any more cards here or any cards in our hand. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pick up all the cards that we accumulate throughout the game. We're gonna get rid of the monkeys. We're gonna just keep the bananas. And then we're gonna count each banana. So let's say two, four, seven, eight, nine, 12, 15, 16, 18, 19, 22, 23. So she has 23 bananas in her hand and me, I don't have that much. I think I have two bananas here. So she win the game. So what I think about bananas, we really loved it here at home. And for that reason, I'm gonna keep it here in my bookshelf with other Jekyll card games. Um, we really did enjoy it. The strategy is simple. It's not really hard to play. And at the end, we love to count the bananas that we have in our hand. I think it's a very, very interesting game. Maybe just a downside is the monkeys. I didn't find them really pretty. However, it does the job. I mean, we really understand the position of the monkey and that's what's important. And as for the banana, it's very clear. So total we have six, six different type of cards and it's working really well i think it's also uh, maybe for kids younger than six years old i think it's very very simple so i do recommend it i will keep it in my bookshelf and i see you later